100 Radio. This is K100 Radio giving you the best hip hop and RMB mixes. MidwestMixtapes.com, the number one website for Midwest rap. MidwestMixtapes.com, they promote and market albums, mixtapes, singles, and videos. MidwestMixtapes.com, they can get you on DJ conference calls, blogs, and email blasts. MidwestMixtapes.com, they work with several magazines, college radio campaigns, and street teams in multiple cities. What's good? This is Kelby Cannon, publisher of Making It Magazine, here to let all my independent artists, producers, and DJs know about MakingItMag.com. Not only are we Atlanta's number one magazine for the urban music industry, but we're a national platform that provides real opportunities, real exposure, and real industry connections. Just log on to MakingItMag.com. Sign up for your membership and start submitting music to get booked on major shows, magazine features, radio interviews, sponsorships, and more great opportunities. That's MakingItMag.com. Doing dope stuff for dope artists. Ten years strong. It's going down. Here's another exclusive interview on K100 Radio. You All right. are tuned to the K100 Radio. Let's get to it. an R&B. You know what it is. K100, you bastard. Yes. Welcome, everybody. This is K100 Radio. I'm your host, Blizzard. Thanks for tuning in to the show. Another round of our direct line interviews over here on K100 Radio. Well, we chop it up with our special guest that's on the line. A lot of times we chop it up with our independent artists. So it's what we're going to do today. We're going to be playing some music by them. They got some visuals. Sometimes we run it on our Facebook uh, our Facebook live feed for my people over there watching it. But we want to welcome everybody that's rocking with us right now on K100 Radio. If you're listening to us on our mobile app, thank you very much. Or if you listen to us on TuneIn Radio or iTunes, appreciate you. Uh, I really appreciate that. If you're watching us over here on our Facebook Live or if you're checking us out over here on our Instagram Live, man, appreciate you guys for rocking with us, man, and checking out some of these independent artists that we're going to be talking to today. First up today, all right, we're rocking with the ladies. Ladies first. Ladies first. We're going to be rocking with Amira, and we're ready to bring her on the line right now. Hey, yo, Amira. Hey, how you doing? What's going on? Welcome to the show. What's happening? Thank you. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So, uh, real quick, I pause my background music and just hold everything down for a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and let you take let you take the floor. Go ahead and introduce yourself to our listening audience, to our viewers, and everybody's checking us out right here on K One's Radio. Tell them who we rocking with. All right, what's up, y'all? My name is Amira. I'm a pop R and B artist. You know, I'm from Maryland, Baltimore to be exact. You know. All right. And uh, I'm just I'm just trying to make my way out here in this music game. You know, I got a single that's out. I got an EP that's coming out tomorrow. My self-titled EP coming out tomorrow on November 21st. If y'all want to cop that, you can cop that. If you want to check out some of my music beforehand, you're more than welcome to do that, too. Hit me up on social media. I got my links all up on there, uh, at Amira's Music, A-M-I-R-A-S-M-U-Z-I-C. You can check out my uh, single, Mathematics. I got another single that I just released a couple of months ago, Too Late. Um, I got a video out for Too Late that's coming soon. Mathematics video already out. So feel free to check me out, you know, and if you like what you hear, Please, please download anything, stream anything. Uh, like I said, I got that um, that EP coming out tomorrow, touring coming soon, merchandise coming soon. So I'm just trying to make my way out here, you know? Absolutely. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Bring my background Thank music you. back Thank up. You. All right. So she ran it down. She was prepared for this shit. She came ready. ready. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she had that whole thing, that whole spew was lined up. It came out effortlessly. You know what I'm saying? It's a little bit, I don't know if it was a little bit coaching. I don't know if it was natural, but what we do know, it sounded great. All right, so welcome to the show again, Amira, representing uh, Baltimore. Um, There's a lot of people that we talk to on K100 Radio, and um, you know, I like talk, I like talk, I like talking to women artists, and I like talking to um, mm-hmm. pop artists. You know what I'm saying? R&B artists because mm-hmm. it gives us a little bit of different. Even though people know we do a lot of hip hop interviews and stuff, but I do love to chop okay. it up with my pop and R&B artists. So I want to talk about some of the challenges on two fronts because you've got two. You know, some people may see it as a blessing, however you want to put it, a blessing. Uh, uh, an advantage or a challenge. Mm-hmm. I don't know which one do you put it. Being a female and also being in the genre that you're talking about, which is pop. What do you think about? You know, yeah. you know how, how how has the how has it been a struggle as an independent artist in that particular lane? Just being a 
a female and also doing pop pop music. Give us a little a little bit on that. Uh, um, well, it's, it's well to start off. It's hard in general getting into the industry, but in pop, I feel like there's there's a lot there's a lot of people who are trying to do what I'm doing. So it is definitely hard to I guess stand out from the crowd. And you know, I let my music speak for me. You know what I mean? Like I I not to sound conceited or anything like that, but. I feel like I have talent. I feel like I'm talented. I feel like I can write, you know, I can sing. I definitely have the attitude for it. So it's it's definitely hard in that aspect to stand out because there's so many people who want to do what I'm doing. There's so many people that want to sing, who want to be the next um, Ariana Grande or the next Beyonce or, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's sort of kind of, it's difficult to put yourself out there and to actually get people to invest in you and to want to spend their time listening to you and to, you know, support you you yeah, know yeah and, so and, and pop is I a think more, that's definitely the main yeah well see here's the thing here here's here's i don't know maybe you can correct me i don't know but in my experiences just being in this industry for a long time the pop artists a mm-hmm. a the pop artists take way more money to, to 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 invest in you know what i'm saying so it, it costs more money to to produce it costs more money to, to get the visuals the image also has to be there so the wardrobe the makeup the mm-hmm. hair everything everything about everything that comes with uh managing or investing in or being a label that's that has a pop artist on their roster everything all the costs are just way more than what you have with uh hip-hop artists you know what i'm saying so and 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 frankly sometimes the outlets are is not as many outlets so i can understand that definitely so i say that to say this yeah <clears throat> with some of the hurdles that you that you've done some of the hurdles that that you mentioned mm-hmm. already people being in your lane all these different things and some of the stuff that i've mentioned what is it that you mm-hmm. feel like will ultimately ultimately separate you from the pack because you're gonna have to have that thing, that it. What is it? What is that it? What is it about you that you feel like is gonna separate you from again, a field that's also flooded and very difficult and costly uh, to navigate as an independent mm-hmm. artist? Go ahead. I think it would be me, my personality. I feel like a lot of times, it's 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 more than your music. Okay, so right. and like you said, it's very costly. You know, you have to have your look. You have to have you know your attitude, your personality. You have to win people over with more than just your your talent so i feel like for me personally it's the whole package you know when you look at me when you see me when you interact with me like i'm the type of person that if you hit me up on social media i'm going to hit you up like we're going to talk we're going to have a conversation like i don't i'm not one of those people who say oh yeah send me a pic and then you people send you pics and you don't say anything you don't really you know, I want to see my fans support me, and I want to invest in their time just like they – they. I want them to – I want to invest my time into them just like they invest their time into me. So I feel like that – I want to be genuine. That's what I'm trying to say. It's, right. Sorry, that was like I went around the bend with that one. But really. I want to be genuine. I'm, Not- and I am genuine. I want them – I want my fans and my supporters to know that they can talk to me. Like, I'm not, you know, too big-headed to think that I'm better than anybody, that I'm on another lane. Like, we're all the same. It's just, I just chose a different profession. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And, you know, we can all relate. You know what I mean? I have have people out there that I'm hoping that my fans can relate to, that we can jam to together. Like, at my shows, I want y'all to jam with me. I want to get into the crowd. I want to sing with y'all. I want to see y'all dancing along. You know what I mean? I want us to create a bond. I don't want to just... I don't want it to just be, I put out music, you buy music, cool. You know, I want us to create a bond. Like, hashtag American Army. Like, we're family. Like, that's when I say that on my at my Twitter page, I really mean we're a family. Like, I want to create that environment for us. And I think that's what, that, what, that's what helps me stand out as well. Because I want to do more than just have it be one way. I want us to both, you know... To, to, to resonate with each other. You know right, what I mean? Right. In terms of like Amira's army and myself. So hopefully that answers your question. I went around the bend with that one. <laughs> now, I didn't want to interrupt you. I, I feel like, you know, you answered the question in, in apropos and you, and you went a little bit uh, above and beyond. But here's what I did really like about what you're saying. Because I'm going to tell you something about me, like Amira. Like I don't, I don't, mm-hmm. I, I personally don't fuck with celebrities on social media, to be honest with you. For the very, for okay. many of the very reasons that you just said. Like I don't, follow a lot of blue checks because i feel like there's a there's a disassociation with, with a lot of celebrities and once once you get to a, a certain level now of course if you blow up and you do become as big as the next ariana grande whoever else we're just throwing out names we're not trying to compare you we're just throwing out names of popular people mm-hmm. in the lane you won't be able to mm-hmm. interact with some people because some people are crazy as fuck you know some people are just crazy you know <laughs> and some people will stalk you and we understand that we get that but the disassociation with that that, that um celebrities have with their fans when they get to a point where mm-hmm. they feel like 
oh, I don't have to respond back to that comment on my post. Even though we know if you are Chris Brown or something, you got 10,000 comments on the post. Hell no, you're not going to come back to all of them. But just when you never, ever, yeah. ever interact. So I think that social media has exposed a lot of celebrities to be the true assholes that they really are, some of them. And some of them, some of them, yeah. it has shown you that they are humble. They are real people. And you can tell, you can, you can kind of gauge it. So I think it's real important what you're saying. I think it's important that independent artists pay attention to how they move on social media because I'll I will straight up I'm going to tell you something about I, I mentioned something about about celebrities but let me tell you something about my independent artists. I don't rock with independent mm -hmm. artists. Independent artists and you're not even a star and you have a whole bunch of followers but I never see you commenting or interacting on any of your posts. All you do is post post post. Mm -hmm. First of all, I believe your followers are fake and if they are really real, you don't give a damn about all these fans you got cuz you don't follow any of them back. It's like, "Oh, like you just said, you want it one-sided. You want me to care. You want them to care about your music. You want them to look at your videos and do all that." But maybe maybe they post something really interesting about their life. Well, obviously, you don't give a shit because you've got 10,000 followers and you're following three people, right? Mm -hmm. So True. To me, True. it's like I don't, I don't rock with an independent artist that way. And I don't even rock celebrities. I get it, but independent artists, I definitely don't take that from. But it's really interesting that you would say that. You know, it's, it's a really great answer, and um, I love it. I think I think being humble will take you a long way in this game. I can tell you that. Yeah, because <laughs> definitely, when you see these egotistical celebrities, it, it definitely can turn you off to a lot of them. And people they lose fans that way. Yeah. They lose supporters that way. If you if you make me feel like I'm not on your level, if you make me feel like I'm lower than you, then why would I want to spend my money on you? You know what I mean? Why would I want to go to your, your your concerts? Or why would I want to, you know, watch your performances? Or even check up to see how you're doing. You know what I mean? Right. Why would I care <laughs> if you if you see me as beneath you? So I, that's how I feel about the celebrities that I follow. So I want to be that way as well. I want to create that bond. I want that to be how my supporters feel when they talk to me, when they at me, when they tweet me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, let's, let's become a family, like I said. It, you yeah. know i definitely understand that all right so listen everybody we're live right now and um this is k100 radio you are tuned to the k100 radio hip-hop right. and r&b k100 you bastard and we're rocking right now with the mirror she's on the line with us right now this is a direct line interview on k100 radio this is what we chop it up with our independent artists or you know it's not always artists sometimes we chop it up with different guests but right now we're chopping up with uh a pop diva on the rise a mirror <laughs> you know what i'm saying i like that pop diva on the rise a mirror right now uh shout out to uh shout out to people that's watching us on our social media feeds i really appreciate the people that come through and check out the social media feeds and, and listen to these interviews live with my independent artists to kind of get a glimpse because it's so hard it's, it's really hard as an independent artist to um just pull people in so with that being said, yeah, I, I, I'm getting, I, yeah, I'm gonna get ready to play some of the. Uh, I'm gonna play a little bit. You got a snippet of a video. We're gonna play a little bit of that, but then we're gonna play the whole song. Cause I, I thought you had the whole video. All right. I thought you had the whole thing when it, when I looked at my email, and then when I was gearing up to get ready for the mm -hmm. interview today, I was like, oh God, it's not the whole video. I was like, oh, I didn't have to. I was like, okay, nah, so it's okay. it's the promo, but the video is coming soon. So okay. like I said, stand by. I got y'all. All right. And before we go, thank. You, I just want to say real quick, thank you to you know the people that are actually listening in and 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 you know watching this. Um, y'all probably don't know me. I hope at, at the end of this, y'all get to know me and want to, you know, you know, talk to me and build a relationship with me too. And I just want to let y'all know I do appreciate y'all standing by and listening because I know how some people don't really want to get to know nobody new. So I definitely appreciate the um, y'all time and, and the support. So yeah, thank definitely, you. absolutely. So you know, uh, <clears throat> there's been a lot of there's been a lot of uh, today, I guess, on my social media feed. I always try to take something current that happens to me and I try to bring it to mm -hmm. the table on these uh, interviews when I do these direct line interviews. And then um, there was there was something that happened today uh, with the independent artist who's gotten, gotten himself into some real, real serious trouble um, with the law or whatever. Okay. And that's not something that you're normally going to hear, A, with a lot of females, even though some of these reality shows, some reality show uh, half <laughs> reality show star slash rapper uh, artists, people, they get into a mm -hmm. lot. And you got some, you got some females that's had a couple cat fights here lately, some big names, but whatever. But basically, yeah. in general, the, the the pitfalls, like the, like the, like the, how do you navigate the negative stuff that comes with being an independent artist? Because even though it's like you have to walk a fine line, you're not a star, so you don't have mm -hmm. all the amenities of being a star. But you're also making yourself a public figure, so you have to you have to walk that walk at the same time, and then you have to live and make sure you have enough 
you know, a way to maintain. Give, how do you navigate some of the pitfalls, make, you know, so selecting your team? How did you select your team? How do you pick your surroundings and people that you vibe with in the studio creatively? Give me some of the ways that mm -hmm. you avoid some of the pitfalls, getting with the wrong producer that's going to take all your publishing, all this shit that could go left when you're doing music. You know what I'm saying? How do you avoid some of those pitfalls? Yeah. Um, well, I guess picking the team – you know, I got a, I got at the moment, I got a phenomenal manager, Bridget McKenzie, and then I also have a great um, record label, On Move Records, and you know, they actually hook me up with a lot of like producers and stuff like that. So I have to trust my team. You know what I mean? And I feel like that's that could be another part of your um, question as well in terms of how do I navigate like the crazy things that happen when you get exposed to certain things and how do you stay out of trouble and all of that stuff. I just think it's the people that you surround yourself with. Like in this industry, especially if you become really, really successful, you have a, you'll, you'll be surrounded by a bunch of yes men, a bunch yeah. of people that will give you what you want. You know, they'll never tell you no. They'll never try to keep you grounded. But I feel like as long as you have a team that you can trust a team that'll make sure that you stay humble and that you stay grounded, you'll be okay. I just don't think that being in this type of industry, you don't need somebody around you who's going to give you everything you want. That's when you fall. That's when you have, you know, you know, you fall into these pitfalls, as you say, like these, you know, arrests and fights and drug problems and stuff like that. Not, not saying that you won't fall into them anyway, but I just think, having a good team around you is what sort of kind of keeps you away from that stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then picking that team, like I said for myself, I have to trust the people that I started with. Like I started with Bridget McKenzie, my manager, and then like I said, on the move records, and I trust them to know what's best for me. They know me as an artist and as a person. They know who I vibe with. They know who I won't vibe with. They know, okay, like, if we put her in this situation, she'll be able to handle herself. Or they can trust that if they put me in a situation that I possibly can't handle, then maybe I could, you know, finesse my way or something like that. Like, they surround yourself with people that know you who want what's best for you. Exactly. Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah, you need a team. That's the short, condensed version. Yeah. You need a team. Yeah. <laughs> but everything, no, every, I wasn't trying to, you know, everything you said is, uh, is facts. You know, everything you said is uh, pertinent. You know what I'm saying? Everything you said is actually relevant to the question that was asked, actually. Uh, because you, mm -hmm. you, you, can, you, can, you, could, you can turn that question into, well, I decided to do this, and I decided to do that, and I'm the kind of person that, and I'm the kind of person that. But ultimately, nobody, and I absolutely mean, when I say nobody, I damn well mean nobody has ever in life made it to stardom or even close to stardom by themselves. Absolutely, positively. No, not at all. Nobody. Okay, so there's there, that, 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 that you never heard that. You've heard people fall out with the people yeah. who they started in the beginning with, but you ain't never heard nobody say, I did it all by myself. Not even the biggest, most mm -hmm. egotistical bastard in the world says that. They know it's not true. It doesn't make any sense. It's just impossible. So, you know, um, yeah. you know, talking about your team in that moment says a lot about you as a person, all right? <laughs> now, <laughs> no, seriously, it's real. It, it, it matters, all right? Uh, we got we got to definitely make sure we play some we, we, we play the music. Now I got the full song to too late, but mm -hmm. I've also got this, I've also got this snippet in case some people are watching over on the uh, Facebook Live. Uh, if you guys are listening to us on Instagram okay. Live or if you guys are listening to us over on the broadcast, you'll be able to hear everything if we play this uh, snippet of the video. But you won't be able to see it. But if you want to catch uh, snippets of it, of course, she's going to tell you when the video drops. And if you want to just catch this sneak peek real quick, you can go to her YouTube page or watch our Facebook Live uh, feed or maybe catch us on uh, follow us on our YouTube or whatever. But it'll, it'll be available. And then when it drops, of course, we want you to support the artist. Subscribe to the channel and then share that damn video. But what do you want to do, Amira? You want me to do a yeah. song? You want to drop a little? You want to drop this, this snippet of this visual for the Facebook people, or what you want to do? I'll let you decide. Um, I feel like that visual will will will, will, will really get it going. Okay. So, yeah, let's 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 see that visual. I want to get y'all hyped for this video that's coming up. All right. Well, there ain't nothing wrong so, with that. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, nothing wrong with that at all. So listen, yeah. I'm just gonna I'm gonna stop the background music. I'm gonna play, and my people out there, you're gonna hear the song. You're gonna hear a little snippet of the song. You're gonna get a gist of it. Everybody that's watching over there on Facebook Live, you'll you'll get a little quick one minute sample of the visual, and then we're gonna play that whole song. We're gonna run that back. Let y'all listen to the whole song real quick. Yeah. Check out a snippet of the upcoming video for Too Late. This is Amira. You guys, check this out real quick. All right, I want you guys to tell me, you know, 
what you think about this. You know, you think it's dope or whatever. If you're over there on the, on the live feeds, even if you're watching after the fact, you can always comment and we'll always be able to see it and stuff like that. Or if you're watching this on our YouTube page, leave a comment and then make sure you find her over there on um, YouTube and actually watch the video. So you subscribe to the channel uh, so you guys can actually go over there and support the video when it first comes out. Check this out real quick, though. This is a mirror. This is just a snippet of the Too Late video. <laughs> snippet so all my people that's over there watching on the uh everybody's over there watching on the uh the facebook live you see how crisp that, that visual was real quick now we're gonna go ahead and actually play the whole song so you can get a whole fizz but she wanted you to see that little bit of snippet for my people over there watching on the facebook live but we're gonna get into this whole full jam so amira without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and let you uh go ahead and let you introduce this song too late tell us who produced it you know what i'm saying to give us the vibe and then we'll go ahead and run the full song for everybody listening all right, so this song is called Too Late. It was produced by a guy named O'Shea Hunter. Me and him got in the studio, wrote this joint up. Um, it's, it's definitely a banger. It's one of my favorites. Like I said, it's, it's one of the singles. It's available to stream and download if you like what you hear. And it will also be a part of my EP that's coming out tomorrow. So let's check this joint out. Sit back, listen, and I hope y'all enjoy. Here's Too Late. You know what it is. This is K100 Radio. <laughs> You Let's get it. are tuned to the K100 Radio, Hip Hop and R&B.
K100 Radio, Hip Hop and R&B. K100, you bastard. K100 Radio, I'm your host, Blizzard. Thanks everybody for tuning in to the show. That was Amira right there. Name of the joint was Too Late. A lot of energy. Really love that record. Welcome to our direct line interview. We're getting ready to wrap this thing up. We've got a couple of more minutes left that we uh, make sure. We want to make sure, Amira, first of all, that you can give out all of your social media information, your website, your YouTube page, everything, please. By all means, make sure you tell everybody uh, how they can connect with you on social media. All right, y'all. So it's simple. All my social media, they're the same. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, um, YouTube, it's all at Amira's Music. So it's A-M-I-R-A-S-M-U-Z-I-C. And then my artist website is www.amirasmusicmuzic.com. So, All right. Mirrorsmusic.com. Make sure you hit her up. And uh, please, please, y'all, hit me up. Join the Mirrors Army hashtag. You know, that's the family right there. We we building it, y'all. We, we, we're building it. we bonding it. We're on our way up. So, hashtag Mirrors Army. We always accept it. We always willing. And our arms are open. So, come and join the family. That's right. Uh, make sure you hit us up. If you're on the phone lines, you want to holler at the mirror, make sure you uh, press the number one on the keypad. If not, we're just going to assume that we got some, we got some other artists and we got another interview coming up. Uh, we've got Shane Fox coming up, but if you're here, uh, you want to holler at uh, Amira or give us some shout outs or anything like that, of course, then make sure you press the number one on your keypad and we'll come to the phone lines before we get ready to roll out. Just make sure you hit that. If, we, if you're just over here listening, that's cool. But if you're actually here and you want to give uh, uh, Amira a shout out or something, just press the number one on your keypad and we'll come to your phone line before we get ready to wrap it up. But again, I want to say this was a great interview, and if you missed any part of it, you definitely can catch it out on the K100 Radio YouTube page. Um, you can actually catch this on SoundCloud as well on our SoundCloud page. It'll be over there uh, shortly after we get done with the show. So for anybody that maybe didn't catch the whole entire interview, which was really great, got some really in- got some real insight and some really uh, great questions answered, you know, uh, from Amira. She gave some really dope answers. Uh, sounds like a real humble, humble hungry grinding artist real quick i didn't ask you though tell me tell me specifically about the grind in your hometown about baltimore being an independent artist up there what is it like uh grinding and not being well, an independent artist up there well i actually i'm starting to get more into my like hometown music scene because here it's it's like we got house music in Baltimore, but then we got Go Go in DC, which is right next door. Right. And I'm I'm not in either one of them, so <laughs> I sort of kind of it was hard for me to get in there. But yeah. I actually went to um, the Madame earlier part of this year in Cannes, France, and mm. I met a guy named um, Shay Welsh, and we he's actually well connected in the Baltimore music scene. And we had a show on Saturday. He invited me to play with him, and he's actually, you know, helping me, exposing me to more of the music side in Baltimore with with pop. <laughs> okay. You know, so I'm just starting to sort of kind of get my feet wet in that. So I'm hoping to, you know, get introduced to a lot more musicians and hopefully garner more support in my hometown, you know, That's my good. home state. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, it's, you know, Baltimore, I've, I've been up there twice, and it, first of all, it's, let me just say... Baltimore reminds you of hip hop and and and, and rugged <laughs> and rugged hip hop. Pop is not just uh-huh. what you, does not divide at least with the part of Baltimore that I went to. Yeah, is not divide. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I feel you. you know, it's definitely built. It's definitely built for the streets. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but with that being said, man, I know I ask you that because you know within the, with any independent artist in any region, we all have a lot of the similar struggles. Uh, you know, when it comes to being able to just make that perfect balance of trying to pursue your career and also trying to survive out here in the world because uh, you know again the, the, the advantage that the superstars have is they're already getting paid to do it every day and we got to wake up every day do it and find a way to make ends meet in the meantime until we generate enough income to be able to walk away from whatever it was we was doing before we became full-time artists uh, so that's very hard yeah you know, it's, it's very challenging you know all right yeah, I feel you, do 100%. <laughs> yeah, I know <laughs> you do. This independent thing is, is, is crazy for real. Like, everything you, is coming from, from me and my team. Like, it's not, you know, we don't have a, a big machine behind us, so we're our big machine. Right. So it's, it's, it's definitely, it has its challenges. But at the end of the day, it's, it's what I chose to do, and I love what I do. So I'm going to keep pushing it, pushing, and with my team behind me, we're going to get there. You know, hashtag Amira's Army, I got y'all too. Support forever. So, yep. and also on that, thank you so much for ha- for having this interview with me. Um, yeah. And then thank you so much for playing Too Late and, you know, yeah. putting it out to your audience. Definitely appreciate K100 for that. 
Um, like I said, you know, being independent, it ain't easy. It ain't, it ain't. It, <laughs> it ain't. ain't easy out here. So <laughs> All right. having as much support as possible is greatly appreciated. Absolutely. All right. We're going we're, we're gonna to wrap this one up. Make sure, make sure you follow her on social media. All right? Go find her. And, if, and don't tell me you can't remember it. Just go to our page. If you're already rocking with us and you listen to this, it's not hard for you to find it. All right? Amira's Music. Hashtag Amira's Army. Make sure you go rock with her. And then if you like that song and that video, the main thing is to share. The main thing is to follow. Yes. And to like. Sometimes you don't, yes. even have to, you don't even have to break bread with an artist sometimes to really show some support. A lot of support is free for these indies. So a share, a like, a follow, a comment goes a long way. For those independent artists. All right, Amira, Definitely. we're going to wrap this up. We're going to let you go. All right, catch you on the next round, all right? All right, thank you. Absolutely. You are tuned to Decay 100 Radio. All right. Robin R&B.